Hello guys, Mikjba here. Welcome back to another Sword Art Online Factor video. And today we're back with another review because we have a new banner. And you can see it is Rain. So Rain's birthday. So happy birthday to Rain. And we're gonna, of course, have a look at her two new birthday skills, which is Countless Sword Light Rain, which is a mod skill, mod sword, slash and dark. Ooh. And Sweet Time by the Window Rain, which is an actual ability. And sure about the banner itself, it is a step up banner with 3 steps, where step 1 you have 3% off, step 2, a regular price with a 1.3% increase for the future, and step 3 you are guaranteed to get the rain skill, any rain skill there are in this banner. And let's have a look at her birthday skill. So her first one is Sweet Time by the Window Rain, which is the Axel passive skill. It has Burning Glow, Dark Accumulation, and Flame Accumulation, and Accelerate Healing. Okay, Burning Blow 4, attack against burning enemy increased by 24%, that is alright. Dark Accumulation 3, Dark Element damage rise by the number of Sanya skill core in the same set times 10%. Okay, um, so let's say you have 7 Sanya skill in the set, then you will have 70% Dark Element, which is not the best, but should be working fine. The next one is the Flame one. Fire element damage rise by number of rain skill in the same set by 12.5. Ooh. So 8 times 12.5. So we have 80, 96, 100. 100%. Ooh, 100% fire element damage. Okay. And when you activate in axle mode, you will recover your max HP 4% per 3 seconds. Okay, that is actually a big number. 4%. That is actually a lot. Usually it's like 1% or between 2% and 1%, something like that, or even lower. So that is actually not bad. Next we have Countless Sword Light Rain, Sword Skill, Rage Destruction Animation, 26 SP, Slides and Dark, Cool Time, 40 Second, Switch Gate, Turn 9, Break Gate, Fire Free. So it will deal 1600% damage to hitting a target. It has a 3 slot bonus. Damage 100% to enemy when using Dark Skill. That is okay. Bonus when equipping two or more science skill in the same set, you will gain 1000 attack, or the skill will gain 1000 attack. But it's actually really strong. Is this the, one of the strongest mod skill for dark element? Probably. Now, keep in mind you do need science skill, and we don't have that many free science skill. I believe we only have one, two, I believe, right? So, hopefully, you have uh, some really good science skill. Otherwise, you have to wait for Sanya's birthday, which I believe it is in October, November. I don't really remember, but we'll see. So this is actually a not bad mod skill. And yeah, nothing more. All right. Really, really interesting skill core. Really good. I do see that uh, this one can be a decent one to have in uh, any slash dark content or in any slash content weakness. Really nice. This one is kind of interesting. It has two different elements, dark and fire, right? So you can either use both of them or flex between. I I think you can use this passive like flex in between. Let's say you have a dark element build, then you can build around dark element having Sanya skill of course. But if you have a lot rain skill, then you can build around fire. But I doubt that gonna work. So let's have a look other rain skill of course that are in this banner. So, if we look at other skills Rain has, you can see there aren't that many compared to other characters because her skill, skill record, is only featured during her birthday. Same as Philia, Stria, Aedis. Her skill record only comes when it is her birthday. So that's why we only have th this many options. Um, so she has about 9 skill record plus 2 if we include her new birthday skill. And let's have a look at the skill record, right? So she has one mod, two connect, one axle, one awakening, uh, three passive, and and the regular skill. So let's start from top to the bottom. First one we have is Scarlet Sword Rain, which is a mod skill. So at level 80, you'll deal 1210% damage to each single target. She has a bonus when equipped with one or more sending skill in the set. You'll gain 1,000 attack. All right. Another bonus: deal 1,000 
of the number of Sanya Skiller Core in the same set in additional damage. Uh, this bonus is alright, not the best, so basically you will deal extra damage. Um, let's say you deal 10,000 and then you have one Sanya skill in the record, you will now deal 11,000. So it is at 1,000 more, so it depends. So you can get maxed up to 8,000 extra damage, which is alright. And also restoring 8,000 HP when you using switch. Um, it is alright, not the best. It, it is a mod skill, a mod earth skill. And you know, earth is probably one of the weakest when it comes to sword, so it doesn't really shine that much. Yeah, if it was other elements, it will be better because then it has a different bonus. But it is earth, so yeah. Kind of interesting though that she has earth when her first skill was fire. Um, next we have Season with Magic Rain, which is a rape skill, a connect rape skill. So it will deal 1300% damage for hitting a target. When you use it, you will gain some buff that raise your own critical rate and you will also get st stack of the crit rate, which is nice. And on the connect skill, you will reduce the skill call time by 3 seconds. 6 seconds and 9 seconds, which is really good for Rapier. You definitely want a connect skill on Rapier, so this is a really nice support connect skill. Next one, this is also a connect skill Flower Color the Rain Rain. Um, it is a sword connect skill with 1200% damage to reaching a target. When you use the skill, you will decrease the damage from the enemy by 45%, which is alright. Also, when you use it, you will reduce the ultimate stack by 5 on yourself and this is if you hit the skill while being inflicted by burn so you need to be burned to be able to use this bonus and if we look at the connect skill this skill will get 1000 attack when you use a fire so it is already fire that's nice and if you have two or more sunny skill in the same set the fire element damage will deal 50 and now for start 2, it will increase for 3000 and 100%, 5000, 150%. So it is a basically an offensive damage dealing connect skill, which is really good for any slash fire content. Really nice. So keep in mind, you need two sun and skill in the set. Next, we have together until sleep rain, which is a rape skill, a non rape skill that is frost and fire. 1530% damage you can target, so this is a skill that buff and also gives yourself a debuff. On critical rate and critical damage rise by 2% per stack, so you can get up to 198 crit rate and crit damage. And trigger a debuff that raises the damage you take by 0.5% per stack, so you will take a lot of damage. And if you switch, you will just gain more stacking. And also increase switch gate, which is at 40, with not that much. So this is the action skill, real nice art. Her awakening skill, innate sword art rain, which is a sword holy. So she had now fire, holy, and earth. So many elements. 11,700% damaging a target, and when you use the skill, you will gain evasion rate, 8% for 10 seconds, which is <laughs> all right. And also additional damage uh, per stack of the enemy status element, burn. So if the enemy has 99 stack, you'll deal additional 99,000 damage, which is decent, I would say. And when you use rush, you'll raise stack for all the stack that are on yourself. And that is if you are playing around stacking. So it is uh, additional, real nice to have. This is the best present rain, which is actually a really nice passive, I would say. Critical damage 80% when HP is under 50%. That just means you are playing around risky, low HP. Enhanced slash 3 damage onto enemy, weak to slashing 30%. So you want to play like kind of suicide sword or dagger. It works. It depends what you want. It works pretty well. And when you use rush, you will recover 20% HP at level 5, which is not bad. More HP back. Then we have Happy Brain with a similar passive to this skill here, but this is higher percent and it is actually one of the older skills, one of the first rain, Happy Rain Rain. It is actually really nice, but I would say this is kind of a little bit better, even though this one has 50% more. 
It is that it is rush and it also yet cradle damage, which is a nice trade off. And then we have T House Diva Rain, which is all right passive. It gives you a buff when using switch, which is stacking. And also, if the enemy doesn't target you, you will deal more damage, sixty percent. Which is all right, not best. And last, we have Let's Play Rain, which is a sword skill slash and fire. It will deal. 1030% damage AoE and it will apply fire element weak for debuff so that means your fire element damage to monster will be increased by 22% for 10 seconds real nice and for the bonus if you have a sunny skill in your set this skill will receive 1000 attack and the next bonus deal 1000 by the numbers of sunny skill record in the same set so you can get up to 7000 yeah, it is not the best. So that was all the skill record. They weren't that many interesting. I would say the connect skill is definitely something you really want. The rapier one, maybe sword if you want to. The rapier for extra skill is alright. Not necessarily necessarily needed, but it can be a really good support. Awakening, really nice additional. Uh, passive here. This one passive is really good. This one is alright. This one not the best and then we have the weakness debuff which is actually really nice decent and the mod <laughs> nah definitely not the best so yeah that was all rain skill record so is this banner worth the summon well if you just look at the future right now i would say the mod skill here is really nice to have unless you already have a mod skill already you don't really need this one um, the passive is alright, you can flex between dark and fire, that's all, but keep in mind you are building around rain and sanya, so if you don't have that many sanya skill or rain skill, the passive can be really bad. Now also, you need to have a burn on the enemy to gain this extra damage, I believe it is like 22 at level 80, something like that. So you have to keep in mind, you have a, a lot of restriction here. First is having a burn on the enemy. Second, if you're building dark, you want Sanya skill. Or if you want if you're building fire, you need rain skill. So this skill itself, you already gain 12.5% fire damage. That is nice. This mod skill, if you don't have a mod skill, you can try this banner if you want. But I I prefer doing the beginner banner for those that are new. You have better chance to get and cheaper to reroll. So is much better i would say her other skills as you can see there aren't that many um we do have this mod here the earth mod which is not the best thing she doesn't have that many mod she has a connect skill a fire connect skill which is all right and another fire action skill which is all right this one i would say can be decent you can build around and then we have this one can be built around so Rain doesn't have that many good synergy at the moment, so we have to wait and see. I mean, you can definitely use the skill, that's fine, but there aren't that many synergy or great synergy with the current new skill. So you have to wait till they release more Rain skill. Otherwise, you can build around Sanya. Um, I don't really remember too much what Sanya skill will have, but we're gonna do that once her birthday is out, then I can talk around that. Uh, I do know she has a power rise, power rise 4, so that works perfectly. New players, skip this one, definitely not worth it at the moment. Not the best time to get skills, because you do need to build around rain and having Sanya skill record. Um, it is better for you to summon on the beginning banner, the head start banner, 72 head start banner, because it's much cheaper and you only need to do step 1, step 2 and save the rest of Akan gems for a future better banner. For those that like rain, like uh, the character itself, definitely worth it. You can collect all the rain because this is only banner is available where you have a chance to get all the rain skill. Otherwise, you can try the Grand Order, which has more butter skill there, so you have less chance with rain or grab bag or free free summoning. Uh, for meta or the current event, I would say this one can be somewhat decent, but. Keep in mind, you do need Sanya skill record. If you don't have a decent Sanya skill record, then it's kind of useless. Or you have to put fillers, which might doesn't work too well, I would say. So this mod skill is kind of so, uh, need more conditional. 
This mosque kind of need more conditional and this rain also need more conditional. I would say skip for now unless you really like rain or try to build around rain with Sanya because they have a good synergy. Otherwise, this banner is alright, but I won't recommend summoning on it right now. But yeah, so that that's for me. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoy and see you guys next time. Take care now and bye bye.